Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and what we have here are two products from Arctic's cooling lineup intended to cool your memory modules and the first one is the Arctic RC Pro memory module kit and these are aluminum heat sinks as you can see there there are two pieces in one package compared to the Arctic RC which has four pieces intended for two memory modules so you have to buy two of these Arctic RC Pro if you want to run a dual channel configuration with the Arctic RC Pro heatsink and you can see the the heatsink is rather quite tall and if we flip it to the back you can see that the specifications mention that it is 76 millimeters tall which is a, a lot taller than most of the uh, uh, heat sinks you you're probably accustomed with even the uh, enthusiast overclocked ones and then there are also there they have the uh, temperature example here in the lower left side uh, from Arctic's internal testing and uh, let me just open this up and we just move away actually the other one this is the Arctic RC turbo module PWM I'm gonna move this away for now and uh, we'll go back to it for now let's open up this package and see what we can find inside and these Arctic uh, products, they're basically uh, these uh, transparent blister packs. And they're, unlike other packages, they're actually very easy to open up as they, you can reseal them later on. And inside you can find just the way it's package. You have a manual and the Arctic RC Pro itself. And uh, just see a step-by-step -step installation guide. Very easy, similar to the Arctic RC, you basically uh, open up the package and uh, it, it also serves as uh, as a tool for aligning and installing your memory module, your naked uh, memory module into the Arctic RC Pro heatsink itself. And that's for the heatsink itself, you can see in here. It has three screws that you have to use, maybe a precision screwdriver, since they are quite small. And uh, once you do that, you take them apart you have two pieces and, hang, and underneath there are uh, these thermal tapes on each side so even if you're you only have one-sided dim slots you have to remove both and uh, and apply the thermal uh, thermal pad on both sides so you need this and I'm gonna put this aside for a bit and we are going to take a look at the RC turbo module this is the PWM version they have discontinued the older version and then once I open up I'll I'll mention what is the difference and first let's take a look at the new features uh, maybe some dimensions that we, are, we have to mention here uh, this one comes with the new PWM power sharing technology a six-year limited warranty as mentioned in there and just to open it up as uh, same with the Arctic RC Pro and other Arctic RC products these are blister packs that are resealable and very easy to open and uh, just pull this product out including the manual you have another step-by-step -step installation guide very straightforward and very uh, very clear so even uh, even users that are not accustomed to installing uh, components inside their system will not find a problem installing these see there are a pair of 56 millimeter fans and uh, See there underneath uh, the entire construction is made of plastic and the connection between the top the fans connecting it to the frame here is actually silicone so it uh, helps that absorb the the uh, the noise when you're when when things vibrate they produce that's what produces the noise so you have silicon grams you have uh, silicon mounts for each corner in there so that will absorb it also this one is as i mentioned this is the pwm version Hence the four pin connector rather than the four pin Molex that was in the previous RC Turbo module. And this one also comes with the PST sharing technology, the PLEM sharing technology, meaning you can plug in one port and use maybe plug in another PWM fan in here. So they're basically controlled by one header on your motherboard. So it's very convenient. And as for installation, installing the RC Turbo module PWM into your Arctic RC Pro, all you need to do is simply align the uh, see the little uh, latch right there aligned with the groove on the Arctic RC Pro heatsink and just basically snap it into place that simple no the hard part of course is installing your memory modules into the Arctic RC Pro so that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to take 
one of our Corsair Vengeance memory modules. It already comes with a heatsink, but what I'm going to do is going to show you how to remove the heatsinks on these uh, memory modules and install it in the Arctic RC Pro memory module so we can run our benchmarks. Before we can install our memory into the Arctic RC Pro heatsink, first have to, since I don't have any memory modules that are naked, uh, that will be really easy to do that once we install it. I have these uh, Corsair Vengeance memory modules, I have to remove this memory module first. And to do that, you can, you can do two things. You can, uh, but basically these, these memory modules have, uh, for their operating temperature is, uh, is not too, not too uh, it can't take too much heat and too much cold when you're uh, operating them, but when they're for storage, they can actually take a lot more. So uh, it's not a problem if you use a blow dryer to, or maybe even throw it in your freezer or your liquid cool if you have uh, actually LNO. Uh, you can do that since these are usually rated around, um, I believe it can, it can handle up to 70 or 80 degrees. Uh, uh, just make sure that you don't, you don't push your, your, your blow dryer too high and it will actually damage it. So that's what we'll do right now. I'm going to apply a blow dry and uh, Heat up the heat up and heat up the memory module until the the glue or the thermal pad uh, dislodges the PCB and the memory modules from the aluminum heatsink of this Corsair memory module, so we can install our Arctic RC Pro memory heatsink. Alright, finally we have the naked module out of the custom heat sink and uh, you, this will have to be cleaned up. It, it takes some, uh, some isopropyl alcohol or a, uh, on in a, any cloth that doesn't leave any lint. Then, uh, maybe uh, you, can use, uh, you can use maybe your um, coffee, coffee filter. You can use any of those. That's what I use typically. Just clean those up. Before you stick, and you see the other side is a spacer in there. It was a bit difficult to remove the the last one on a not on a single-sided uh, dim. So after that, we're going to try to install this now into our Arctic RC Pro. And also, I have these modules that are kind of low profile; they're really small. So I'm going to try these. If uh, I'm going to try if it is possible to install these. Uh, little tiny DDR3 models into your Arctic RC Pro. Alright, now we have to do the installation of the memory module. And of course, to do that, um, Arctic wants you to use the one side of the packaging. It just uh, allows you to, as a guide, to basically where to position your memory module. We'll try these, this little one first. As you can see, uh, you have to remove the uh, this sticker first. So uh, every time you do this, you have to avoid a warranty whenever you uh, you install an aftermarket heat sink. Anyway, similar similar to when you're installing an aftermarket heat sink for your video card. So um, I'm not gonna uh, just because since this is, will not be our test module, we'll actually I'm just gonna position it just so you can take a look at what the if this kind of memory is compatible with Arctic RC Pro. I can basically position it like this and uh, make sure that the memory model is at the bottom. And as you can see, uh, a little bit of the, uh, not all the memory modules get some coverage. You can move it slightly upwards, but uh, but you can see the, the there's a little bit uh, part of the memory modules in there that are exposed because you need you need to, to sink the the, uh, the 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 bottom part of the RAM into the dim slot. So uh, it's a little bit of it. Only half of it is touching. I would I wouldn't recommend necessarily that this part. It is possible you can move it upward, but I wouldn't recommend installing the Arctic RC Pro on a small, uh, low profile DDR3 like this one. Of course, it's up to you, but you can you can do that. And this is our full sized uh, 
test dim slot. This is one sided dim as well. And even if it's one sided dim, you have to remove the sticker. As you can see, there's two, there's, uh, there's plastic protecting the uh, mods. You can easily, the best part is to, it's also already pre loosened, but for best results, I recommend removing the screws completely. And you need, uh, these are tiny screws, so you would have to use uh, maybe a precision screwdriver set or something smaller than your regular screwdriver you use for a computer. And these are three screws in total. And I think that's my final screw. So I have two pieces now. So before I put in my memory there, I'll put this thing in the bottom. Make sure it's, uh, it's pushed all the way upward to the top of the, the guide. And then you remove the memory D tape. Oh, looks like the Careful not to remove the entire adhesive, but uh, just the tape covering. It's like the tape is coming off with the covering, so you have to be very careful. And unfortunately, I don't have nails right now. There you go. Just uh, take your. It's blue, so it's easy to remember. And once you've done that, place the memory module at the bottom. Apply a little bit of pressure and then finally the top part you remove the protective tape and finish it make sure you align it to the top not at the bottom so make sure you do that and there we go snap and we're finally ready to put back the screws and we'll test the Arctic RC Pro with the uh, fan, the Arctic RC Turbo module, and see how well it cools the, uh, our DDR3 memory compared to our regular uh, naked PCB, and also I uh, will compare it without with with the uh, regular PCB that comes with the manufacturer original manufacturer. Thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel at youtubecom legion or go to www.hightechlegion.com to read the rest of the review and see the benchmarks.